Hello everybody, welcome back to Strokovich Plays Gone Home. I I took a little break because the position I have to sit in to record this one is pretty uncomfortable. When I was um, looking up try like this game, like things on it, not like things about it, but um, you know, just like a brief description or whatever. Uh, I read something saying like. Uh, you should you should play it like alone in the dark with headphones on and the only way for my Elgato to actually capture the game audio and for me to wear headphones to capture the audio through the head or, and hear the audio through the headphones is to plug the headphones into the TV directly and I don't have any kind of um, auxiliary like extender so I have to sit pretty close to the TV and and basically I have no back support so playing for an extended period of time is is very annoying so what I did was I went back and watched through my my um, audio my videos to make sure you know that everything kind of went all right and I noticed a couple things one I um, that collar in there had the numbers 1888 on it, and I never tried it for here. Alright. And two, it is much brighter in the video than what I'm playing right now, which is pretty cool because it makes me seem pretty dumb sometimes when I'm like, oh man, I can't see anything. And then in the video, it's, it's obviously just like nothing's there. Ah, oh, shit, this is... Is there any more lights? This is kind of redonkulous. Hmm. I'm afraid I'm going to miss something because of how dark it is. That would suck. Oh. Awesome. That's how you do it right there. Is that a, is that a door? Okay, that is a door. Hey Sam, you were asking what my J R O T C Oh that that's a that's an army thing. I don't know what it is, but like it's an army thing. I mean it might not be army or it might be like Marines or Navy or whatever, but I know it's a it's like a military thing. Uh, ribbons meant here's a handy guide. Oh this is cool. Orienteering, it's like a yellow, orange, green ones. This means the army thinks I can find my way around. <laughs> Uh, rifle team. The army has branded me as a certified killing machine. Oh, jeez. Uh, adventure training. I am a born adventurous, and no borders can hold me. The army recognizes this. So if you don't, if you didn't think I was cool before, now you do. <laughs> uh, that's pretty. I'm starting to like Lonnie. In the beginning, I thought she was gonna be like this bad influence that was gonna turn Sam down the wrong path, but she seems pretty cool. Ooh, composition notebook. Man, who I love Ghost Hunter. Sightings journal. August thirty first, nineteen ninety four, one nineteen AM. A tall shadow in the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? No, I was not wearing my glasses. Also ghost milk. <laughs> Anyway, September 3rd, 1994, 12.44 a.m., a faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said, hello, did not investigate, probably was the furnace. September 9th, 1994, 4.11 p.m., poured milk from the cap carton in fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can sour milk. Milk was just bought yesterday. October 9th, 1994, 11.24 p.m. Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. I suddenly begin to feel cold. We build a protective pillow for it. Oh, so that's what that... F See, this is why this game is cool. It it sets things up. Things that you don't really... It doesn't really pay... Like, if it doesn't really focus on. And then later on, you see it referenced. And it, it gives light on the situation. I love that. I think they're doing a great job. 
October 22, 1994, 11 p.m. to 12 a.m., Lonnie and I employ a Ouija board as a medium. Disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. Uh oh, this last one's in pen. October 28, 1994, 10 p.m. October 29th, 4 a.m. Enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premises, recording any signs of otherworldly presence. Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remained unconfirmed. Possible ex ectoplasm in attic, probably due to leaking roof. Sample taken just in case. Despite our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in all, a successful night. That's cool, because I remember doing shit like that with my cousin all the time. And so I'm trying to figure out how old Sam is supposed to be. Because, like... Katie, it said Katie's three years older, right? And we can assume that Katie's going to be, like, somewhere around 21, 22... See now is Sam is still in high school. Oh, we got another cassette. Uh, heavens to Betsy, nothing can stop me. Oh shit! I wonder if we can actually hear different things if we put them in different ways. Right, there's got to be another light in here, right? There it is. Oops. Alright, I'm gonna do the cassette thing first. I'm gonna do the side A. Try side B. Okay. It doesn't look like side A, side B thing is even possible. Performance evaluation. Richard Patermack. Supervisor Janice. Okay, and another thing that I I did see that I kind of missed was I kind of glossed over the fact that Janice, um, the mom used to be a, like a forest ranger and that's why she was obsessed with knowing all the details about the new one supervisor janice greenbrier evaluation she was exemplary in every single thing ranger Pettermack has been indispensable during the course of the prescribed burn preparation and execution i believe his expertise and dedication has been the deciding factor in the success of a very complex and challenging conservation effort in the opinion of the Flintlock Forest staff, Rick's contributions to daily operations have become essential to the outfit's continued success. To this end, I will be formally submitting paperwork requesting his permanent reassignment to this facility. Interesting. Oh shit. Halloween show. Man, these are so good. Like, that's something that I would have doodled, you know? Like, replacing the O with an I and shit like that. Don't forget your costume. The Misfits, they're awesome. Stiggy and Lounge, 1029, 9pm, see you there. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like, when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. I'm... I'm starting to really like Sam, you know, like, as a character. She's... She's really coming into herself, you know, she's really... 
discovering who she is and what she likes and i think that's really cool to be able to to be able to experience that in in this kind of format oh was that a book let's go back in here so i can look at this book uh opa la Ro. Wildfire, he saved her from the raging flames, and then things really heated up. You know who that guy kind of looks like? He, look, he looks like the um, the guy from Saw 1, the doctor, Dr. Gordon. Alright, so I, I, I still am looking for... Oh, right here, I should be able to see my... So, 73 was when she was born? And it's what, 19? So 7, 8, 9. Yeah, so she's about 20. Okay. Yeah, for having like an items thing, I'm not really picking up too many items. It's kind of freaking me out here. So I'm thinking maybe... Maybe I'm just not finding the things that I should be finding. Hmm. So, is there another light in here? Thank you. What was that? Heavens to Betsy. Calculated for Sam. Heavens, nothing can stop me. Oh. There was something written there. Did you see it? Don't. Don't look here. Oh shit. There's gotta be a way to... There's gotta be a way to look at that better. Don't look here? All right, before I do anything else, I want to go back to Sam's room. Or maybe not maybe it's not Sam's room, but remember that other tape that we found? I want to go back there and see if there was something there because I don't remember ever Yeah, and that's something else I noticed on my way back. I never checked these. Hi Lonnie, I wrote this in first period and left it in your locker on the way to second. It's what all the cool kids are doing, I've decided. Write me back also, here's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a good idea. What, what all the cool kids are actually doing is sewing each other pages in their beeper. But we're cooler than them because guess what? They can't put this on a beeper. Oh, it's sending. Two cats on a bike. <laughs> Your drawing of cats was so good that I added a background to make it even better. Maybe I should just stick to something to writing though. Ah, I like it. How did you know that they were about to be abducted by aliens? I'm looking at Mr. Fish right now. I feel like he would probably have lots of cats. Also like his secret shame as he watches 90210 religiously. I'll ask him about it after class. He said he doesn't have cats and also that he's never watched 90210. But I could see it in his eyes he was lying. <laughs> see these are like this is a real friendship slash like budding relationship right there. You really feel that they're that they're like that that they like each other, you know, like they they feel very natural with each other. So I think I have to go back downstairs, which I'm a little afraid of doing because I I think it, it might activate something. You know, because you know how in horror games, it's usually like nothing scary happens. I mean, if it's a good horror game anyway. Nothing scary happens for a little while. And then once you hit a certain point, 
it activates something and and all of a sudden all the scary stuff starts happening okay that was the that was the tape but where's the cassette because there was two I know for a fact that there was two I remember there being another one I just can't remember where Jeez, this is really freaking me out I'm just expecting something to pop up at any second I could have sworn that both of them were upstairs but I could be wrong I guess Try repositioning here. <sighs> Back is starting to hurt. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right. Um, I don't think it was in here. I don't really see why it would have been. Hmm. Let's see. Alright, so I've checked this side of the house. So let's go check the other side real quick. You know, I just noticed that you, you, you move kind of slow. Locked. Wait, so where was that other cassette then? I guess it was upstairs. Oh, it's right there. Let's get somewhere where it's brighter. Okay. Oh. Oh, I saw something. There was definitely something in there. I just don't know how I'm supposed to... Gonna You're gonna something this over. You're gonna like. Oh, you're gonna like this one. Okay. You're gonna like this one. Man, that was. That was more difficult than it should have been to try to, to read that. But alright, it kind of looks like. Oh, wait, no, because I didn't finish exploring this room yet. Lonnie, holy crap, I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner and I found a secret passage. And it had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. Wait. Mom and Dad's room, bathroom, closet. Oh shit. Oh shit! Oh cool, we do have a map. I didn't even... I actually didn't even notice that. Healthy choices? Yeah, I don't even care about that. I'm going to check out that frickin' secret room. Captain Allegra and the first mate. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I bet... Oh yeah, I bet Lonnie did draw that. Oh, and her costume's in here too? Man. I re like I'm I'm getting a little worried about how fucked up things are about to get because Sam's dark room do not enter if red lights are on. Oh, you know what that means, right? 
That means sometime in the future I'm going to come back here and those lights are going to be off. Alright, so we got to go to the bathroom. Or no, yeah, like right here. Oh shit. Oh wow, that is creepy. Ghost Hunters, Sam and Lonnie's secret house investigation log. Hidden compartments found, three. Library, upstairs hall, foyer. Evidence of the supernatural discovered, zero. The search continues. Oh, cool. Oh, that's so awesome. Dude, I cannot wait. What? No. No, 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 don't do this to me. Ooh. I can't see anything. Uh, I'm so scared. <laughs> Jeez. Oh god. You know I've seen too many horror movies when like I'm too afraid to get rid of this cross. Huh? Christ compels you. Alright, so it looks like we need to, there's like a secret passageway. Wait, Sam's room? Wait, so there's a secret room here. Oh wait, I, I don't think I can activate anything with that. Oh, Sam, why did you fucking use a Ouija board? Oh, to open... T... For... T... Half of Sam's locker combo. Okay, 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 okay. Hello? Hello. Who are you? Oscar. What do you want? To come back. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna you take this pen to stab people with. See how that works? Bam bam. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, uh, there was one downstairs that we need to go to. I um I couldn't see in the secret passage, so I I didn't know if it So I don't know, I, I don't know if it, um, if there was somewhere I could have went. Oh, you know what? I had that cross. But it says it goes downstairs, so it's right there. So I could just, I could just find the other way from there. Uh, foyer, so I gotta go down, turn right. Like, how slow I walk is really, it's really getting to me, because... Heaven at the edge of the world. Private. Do not read. The Green Glacier Part 2. Allegra and her scouting party peered down warily through the dense canopy of rustling leaves from their perch high in the forest branches. Mere feet away, sunlight shone brightly off the inner ice walls of the glacier basin in which the forest grew. It was a strange sight indeed, such lushness juxtaposed with the frigid ice formations. Allegra leaped forward without hesitation, bounding through the high branches. The first mate had been captured by the Green Glacier's Amazonian tribe. His life hung in the balance. We have to hurry! 
Allegra's party followed behind, moving quietly as a breeze through the greenery. Allegra landed in the clearing and shouted, Stop! We saw the Queen Amazonian up on her pedestal reaching for the lever that would drop her first mate into the vat below. She shouted, No! and flung her saber at the Amazon's reaching hand, but it was too late. The first mate screamed as he fell toward the water, then splashed down, and all was eerily silent. Allegra looked on, frozen in fear and remorse. She had been a moment too late. But then, from the vat, something began to emerge. A head of dark brown hair, just like the first mate's. Then the shoulders and sleeves of his coat, soaking wet. But as the figure stood on the and the water poured down, Allegra saw that the first mate had changed. He was no longer a man at all. In fact, what looked back at, at her was the eyes, the face, the hair, and bodies, hands and body of a woman. Still in the first mate's clothes. Still the first mate. He, she spoke in a soft, clear voice. Captain. The Amazonian queen said, She is one of us now. She is ours. Allegra drew her magical flintlock pistols from her belt, and her crew readied their swords. Allegra glared into the queen's eyes and said, That's the love of my life, and you can't have her. So, it looks like because she met... Um... Because she met... Lonnie, she changed her first mate into a female because she started developing feelings for Lonnie. I think that's really cool. I, I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, to open, turn right three. Okay, let's go back up to her room real quick. Well, actually, first let's let's use the secret passageway because we got to check that shit out anyway. And things are things are going down, like things are going down. It's it's a little scary, honestly. I'm. I don't do too well with horror games at all. Uh, they scare the shit out of me, so it's, it's funny because I love horror movies, but not horror games. The Misfits. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over, I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me, and was so close, and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head, and I really hope she could tell. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. You know, this is really well done. Like, really well done. I mean,. Does that not sound just completely believable? You know? Alright, so let's go back to Sam's room. And let's, let's open up her locker to see what's going on. Because... Oh man, dude, I, I keep freaking myself out because I'm such of an, too much of an asshole to put shit back. Like, it's, it's starting to scare me because, well actually I should probably leave that off. But, because I walk there and I see shit on the floor and I'm like, oh my god, who did that? Then I'm like, oh right, me. Right, so let's look at the thing real quick, because I don't know by heart. To open, turn, oh it's 051? Turn right three times, stop at first number. Turn left, full, wait, what? Uh, okay. Can I just do like a, 
the numbers, so I have to actually like know how to read that. Two fifty one. Ah, okay, cool. Oh, so that's a lot. Oh, and another thing. Lonnie came over today, but everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. It felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie... Do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> Aww, that's so sweet. So that's Lonnie, huh? Oh no. Come on, Sam. Oh, ain't she stealing shit? Wait, there was nothing wrong. Oh. Wait, why would she... Oh, yeah, because... Yeah, okay. I was about to say. Ah, uh, Sam... Oh, right, 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 I picked up a key. What was the key to? Basement. All right, let's go down. Where are we right now? Um, it probably would be just quicker to go down the normal stairway from here. Oh, dang. Man, I'm so engrossed in this game, I keep forgetting that I'm, like, recording and trying to do, like, 30-minute episodes. All right, well, I'm going to end it right here. Uh, thank you for coming. I mean... This was very interesting so far. I mean, we've really discovered a lot. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you like my content and want to see more. Uh, it really means a lot. Have a great day.